Hey everybody, it's Jason with Parallel Reality coming back with you here today with an article from PJ Media dated January 18th and it says, Exposed, Biden's monstrous anti-terror plan to censor Christians and conservatives before the 2024 election. Well, we knew that something like this was going to be coming, so here we go. Let's see what our dictator-in-chief has for, in store for all of us. It says, when they're not sticking the FBI and Catholic churches or dragging upset fathers from school board meetings, there's a new and equally monstrous plan to shut up conservatives, which is struck through, but says terrorists, before the 2024 election. It is sponsored by your friendly Department of Homeland Security. I guess they, like the FBI, they need to go as well. Those careful guys don't trip on your jackboots. This is the Media Research Center, the MRC, which I have uh, done videos on before with articles uh, from there. It says, including a Biden administration plot, yes, plot, to silence conservatives before the 2024 election with a media literacy program that targets conservatives, Christians, gun owners, and the GOP in the name of fighting terrorism. The program uses federal taxpayer funds to pay people to write, blog, and podcast messages that are anti-American, anti-Christian, anti-Republican, and anti-anyone who ever thought Donald Trump wore nice ties. And, yeah, I was going to say, the thought that popped in my head was all these people who are saying this, all, like, it, as, like as far as 2014, thought Donald Trump was, like, a really cool dude. Now they hate him just because he decided to put an R next to his name and run for president. So... Yeah, I, I don't get it. So this goes beyond campaign bromides and slogans created by crazed James Carville politicos. This program uses the force of government to smear anyone to the right of the organized left. We're in Joseph Goebbels' territory here. I.O. Biden. So says, under President Trump, the, quote, targeted violence and terrorism prevention grant program, end quote, was used to fight terrorists who wanted to blow up and kill Americans. But under Joe Biden, the program morphed into something completely different. Now you are the terrorists and the nation's school children are being activated to hate you. It says phase one of the three phase program pays people to write blogs and do podcasts that are anti-conservative. The first phase, which has already been concluded, tilled the ground to produce the rest of this poisonous harvest. The so MRC reports that the, that the following is some of the material produced in DHS-commissioned blog posts. It says, we are all living in a darker, scary, angry, or less hopeful country thanks to Mr. Trump's influence. Are we on the verge of civil war? Donald Trump was also adopting the shock jock style that Rush Limbaugh built into a cultural phenomenon, including his misogynistic and racist comments, conspiracy theories, and grievances. It says it won't be easy, but we really have to reduce Trump's influence. It's tempting and entertaining to tune into the circuses of Marjorie Taylor, of the, of the Marjorie, Marjorie Taylor Greens, Louis Farrakhan's, and MAGA supporters. Yes, because those three things are definitely the same. Morons. Turns out that even Fox Media has limits on how much misogyny and racism it will tolerate from its stars. Witness the canceling of Tucker Carlson's show last week. These people, like the people doing that, I don't think they actually know what those words mean that they use because they're not particularly intelligent. But anyway, it says through freedom of information requests or FOIA is what it is. So the Media Research Center converted an extension of the program that had previously sta started under the State Department, which they had previously reported. This phase two of the program uses seminars produced by the University of Rhode Island's Media Education Lab that train educators across the country on how to divert students away from conservative ideas and media sources skeptical of the administration's agenda. So for all the lefties out there shouting that the right is fascist, which it quite literally almost can't be, um, well, you, you might want to use that word here to describe what's going on. But uh, we know you won't because you don't actually know what that word means. It says, American taxpayers gave an initial $700,000 to fund a project used to destroy your freedom of conscience. It says, the Ava Bronze, who learned, uh, who attend, learn how to push schools to put censorship tools for from for-profit media ratings firms Ad Fontes and NewsGuard into American classrooms. Both are leftist organizations cloaking their censorship under media literacy. MMC says that the two organizations also have overlapping board members and staff, and they essentially function as a single enterprise. Yeah, nothing like collusion there. As MRC reported, it is telling that before being allowed to participate in the DHS-funded seminars, educators must declare their political ideology. Oh, great. Yeah, so that's already an invasion of privacy. There's one teacher who declared herself conservative reported that she was confined to a breakout group controlled by the director of the Rhode Island lab so as to limit her access to the most damning material. And phase three of the plan grants $1,000 to the Biden youth to demand action. Oh, wow, this isn't like shades of a certain, you know, war from 1939 to 1945 specifically in a German-speaking country. 
Um, it says, children must create social media posts to increase demands for media literacy mandates. That censorship to you and me. It will not surprise you to learn that the program is partnered after a German socialist model, because of course it is, in partnership with the State Department, which focuses on pushing teachers to turn me children into media producers, otherwise known as state media propagandas. So the German socialist model, for people that don't know, there was a certain group of Germans uh, between 1939 and 1945 that were known as the uh, National Socialist German Workers' Party. Two of those words are right here in this German socialist model. Okay, now it doesn't say national socialist model. It's a German socialist model, but uh, yeah, just uh, just pointing that out. It says, this anti-terror program was hijacked in 2019 by DHS apparatchiks who were self-avowed resistors. Oh, you strong people, you, and the Trump administration. You'll recall that at the beginning of the Trump administration, personnel at multiple agencies announced their resistance on social media. One even wrote an, an anonymous article in the New York Times entitled, I am part of the resistance inside the Trump administration. And anybody who was uh, saying something like that should have been uh, removed immediately. It says the author was later outed as Miles Taylor, who you will not be surprised to learn, turned anti-terrorism into the self-licking ice cream cone of a program we see today. He was helped along by the former acting head of DHS, Kevin McAleenan, who took the spot when the left curb stomped Kristen, or Kirsten Nielsen. So as MRC re reports, how the anti-terror was switched in defiance of then-President Trump. Says this quiet resurrection of TVTP was conducted by then acting secretary Kevin McAleenan after uh, months of behind the scenes pressure by Miles Taylor. Taylor was the then anonymous author of the infamous New York Times opinion piece, I Am Part of the Resistance Inside the Trump Administration. In that article and a follow up book, Taylor, who had served as the chief of staff for the DHS, bragged about spending years working diligently from within to frustrate the mission and objectives of the then President Donald Trump. And isn't that treason, I guess, if you will? You're uh, not, uh, what's it called? Not uh, doing what your commander in chief is ordering you to do. I mean, maybe it's not treason, but it's something. This Taylor later told Politico he masterminded the TVTP revival and redesign against the direction of Trump's White House, which was not initially all that interested in funding the program. This is a mere five years after the article, the Rhode Island Lab is using the funds it received from the TVTP. TVTP program Taylor helped design to erase the memory of what he did. And says emphasis was made by the author. It says the authoritarianism is strong in this one. Once again, Americans have the right or have to man the have the right. What did I read? What am I reading? It says once again, Americans have to man the barricades to fight the battles to topple these giant authoritarians who believe they know better than you. So yeah, and it's it, it's insane that uh, you know this administration is doing things routinely that are anti-American and anti-democratic, and yet they sit here and try to play... They're basically playing the victim. They're, they're playing the victim card, which is, oh, no, we're the we're the stewards of democracy, and our democracy is at stake. And it's like, no, you guys are the ones... Like, there's more proof. I mean, it's just, there's, it's just some, it's something every day. So it says, read the MRC story, which is linked right there. It's actually much longer than this article, and I thought about doing that one instead, but the video would have gone on forever, so that's why I'm doing like the PJ Media article here that's essentially summarizing what it is. So it says, uh, read the MRC story about this and then follow up on the recommendations. They suggest that you first check the local schools to determine if Ed Fontes and or NewsGuard are in the classrooms, and if they are, demand that they get rid of them because they're of their one-sided censorship programs. Call on your congressional reps and state attorneys general to investigate these one-sided censorship programs. Demand that Congress defund these censorship programs. This BJ Media believes that knowing the truth is not a super constitutional republic, and that's just basically uh, more stuff shilling their own stuff, but uh, yeah, there you go. So... Yeah, I mean, this is kind of frightening. I mean, it's, you know, essentially they're trying to indoctrinate everybody. <laughs> and, uh, and you know, to censor, you know, like it says here, Christians and conservatives for the 2024 election. And uh, I'd say if, uh, I wouldn't say that I'm not calling it like a, a stolen election already, but I'd say if there's uh, some shenanigans, I mean, this could be something that you could uh, totally look at and say like, yeah, this probably had something to do with it. But anyway, let me know what you think about this pretty frightening thing in the comments below. Like, share, subscribe, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.